Looker 320. Back in 2020, the global boat market didn't just grow, it exploded, with over 310,000 units sold in the U.S. alone. Naturally, every manufacturer wanted a share of the boom, but the real question was how to stand out. The creators of the Looker 320 found the perfect answer, a 2 by 3 meter transparent bottom that lets passengers admire the underwater world in stunning detail. A simple idea, yet so effective that these boats are now found in 35 countries and every ocean on the planet. And don't worry about durability. The transparent section is built from 15 millimeter thick modified acrylic, making it even stronger than the hulls of some other boats. The 22 passenger model is priced at around $123,000, offering both a practical tour vessel and a floating window into the ocean's beauty. Sea Dew Switch. If you want more time on the water without breaking the bank, check out the Sea Dew Switch. This modern pontoon boat starts at just $23,800 and is praised for its versatility. Whether you're planning a solo fishing trip, a family outing, or a spontaneous adventure with friends to a hidden island, the Switch has you covered. It comes in different lengths from 4 to 5.8 meters and can accommodate 5 to 10 people. Every model includes a trailer and a modular deck system, allowing you to set it up exactly the way you like. One standout feature is its built-in engine, borrowed from sea -Doo jet skis, so there's no need to purchase an outboard motor. Even the entry-level model delivers a reliable 130 horsepower, giving you plenty of fun on the water. Mackay M37. While some are catching water taxis, others are stepping onto the Mackay M37. If you've got $873,000 to spare, you could be the proud owner of this floating limo. Even though its makers call it a catamaran, you'll enjoy 11 meters of pure luxury. Designed by Italian sports car expert Emmanuel Rossi, the Makai M37 has a sleek, automotive-inspired flair. As your guests snap selfies, it might be time to fire up the engines. The standard configuration includes two Yanmar diesel engines delivering a combined 640 or 740 horsepower. Ready to set sail? Let the adventure begin. Just remember, it only fits 12 people. Maybe hold a contest to decide who gets to join. Wave Boat 777. Horsepower. Fact number one, jet skis are becoming more powerful. Fact number two, since the pandemic, sales of yachts and boats have surged, especially in the US. So why not give customers something unique like the Wave Boat 777? This boat has a special spot for a jet ski. You can drive something like a Sea Dew right into it, secure it with a strap, and then use the jet ski to steer the boat. With a 300 horsepower jet ski, you can zip through the waves at speeds up to 83 kilometers per hour. That's a thrilling ride for up to 10 people. When it comes to comforts, the Wave Boat 7 and 7 doesn't skimp. One setup includes a shower, sound system, and refrigerator. And the cost? Be prepared to spend $49,700, though the jet ski is sold separately. So, what do you think? Worth it or not? Share your thoughts in the Seacart 335. Seacart is making a splash in the water sports market with its hybrid vehicles, blending the best features of jet skis and inflatable boats. Their compact size, easy handling, and strong performance make them a perfect fit for many buyers. Take the Seacart 335, for instance. It's great as a main watercraft or as a tender for yachts. This hybrid can carry up to five people and, depending on the engine, can zip across the waves at up to 105 kilometers per hour thanks to its jet propulsion system. The Seacart 335 is also ideal for water skiing and wakeboarding fans. Families will love that riding the Seacart 335 is much more comfortable for longer periods than a jet ski. Weta Trimaran's fun, fast, easy, if only every dental practice adopted this motto. But for now, it belongs to Weta, a company that manufactures trimarans and is making quite a splash, already supplying to 24 countries. So what's their recipe for success? It all started with a father and son team who were disappointed by the lack of trimarans designed for learning to sail in an enjoyable way. They decided to create their own model, now produced under the Weta brand. This trimaran is ideal for teaching children and can reach speeds of up to 37 kilometers per hour. It's comfortable even in strong winds, and its design, while appearing simple, shows remarkable attention to detail. For instance, it takes just 20 minutes to assemble. The beginner's package comes with not just three sails, but also a special trolley for easy moving. 
the 4.4 version of the Trimaran costs $17,800. Stabiex 250 SC. The Stabiex 250 SC boat might be simple, but it gets the point across. The creators clearly focused their efforts on making its features stand out. When was the last time you saw a boat that could drive on land? In this mode, the vessel uses a dedicated 40 horsepower engine, while more powerful engines take over on the water, offering up to 450 horsepower. Since handling beaches, shallow waters, and open seas requires focus and precision, the boat comes with a cabin equipped with sleeping areas. If you need a rest, you can let someone else take the controls. The Stab IX 250SC has room for up to seven people. Optional extras include a trolling motor, solar panels, and even a toilet. The only downside is probably the fact that the estimated price of the boat is a substantial $450,000. Flight Scooter Some years ago, Flightboard introduced its remarkable hydrofoil boards. However, many beginners found them a bit tricky to control. To address this, Flightboard developed a simpler version called the Flight Scooter. This board has been slightly redesigned to include a handlebar, much like an electric scooter, with speed controlled by the thumb. Balancing on the flight scooter is so easy that you can pick it up in just a few minutes. It's even recommended for resorts as a fun activity for guests. The flight scooter runs on electricity and offers two battery options, 90 minutes or 150 minutes of ride time. For safety, it uses a Bluetooth key that shuts off the board if the rider falls into the water. Naturally, all this advanced technology comes at a cost. Be ready to invest at least $4,300. Candela P12. The Swedes have really made something special with their Candela P12 water taxi. Even Saudi Arabia has bought one, and it's easy to see why others might want to as well. Thanks to its hydrofoil design, it moves smoothly over the water at a cruising speed of 46 kilometers per hour. It can travel up to 74 kilometers on a single charge and recharge its batteries from 10 to 85% in just 45 minutes. That's pretty amazing. Promoting the Candela P12 for urban transport makes a lot of sense. This taxi is a great solution for people stuck in traffic, and it's lighter on their wallets too. The cost per kilometer is 56% less than what you'd pay on a diesel ferry. There's plenty of room as well, with 30 seats and space for passengers with wheelchairs and bikes. Plus, you only need one person to operate it. While some folks are hailing a... Uh, Iozeans, Iozeans is making waves in the world of water bikes, and its standout feature is how easy it is to put together. The main element, resembling a stationary bike, is placed on a frame with floats. This makes setup easy, even for someone who might struggle with heavier tasks. You can explore the water solo or with friends. The Iozeans can hold two people and a dog. The captain pedals while the passengers relax on a special platform. An umbrella keeps you shaded from the hot sun. And if you're up for some fun competition, grab a second Iozeans and have a race.